In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this greenhouse. So first things first, I start off by unloading all the material. And in these clips, you can see me unloading the 8 inch by 8 inch by 16 inch cinder blocks. The purpose of these cinder blocks is to keep the structure off of the ground so that it's not exposed to termites and water decay. I started out by cutting out four six foot pieces. cut out two 61 inch pieces. The next step I took was I used two of the six foot pieces and two of the 61 inch pieces and here I am leveling off and squaring off the foundation so that I can make a six foot by six foot structure and make it square and make it level. As soon as I got it squared off, I made sure to go back over it with the level on every side to make sure that every single part of it was level. Once I did this, I measured it from side to side and made sure it was exactly 6 feet by 6 feet. In these clips, you're watching me cut out two 69 inch pieces. These two 69 inch pieces will go with the two 6 foot pieces to make 6 feet by 6 feet and you'll see why here in a minute. Before I show you why, I wanted to show you the type of screws that I'm using. These screws here are the 3 inch exterior green screws. Uh, a lot of people use these for decking because they're more resistant to the weather than the regular black Phillips head screws, but I'm using these for the greenhouse because I think they'll last a lot longer than the usual screws. So this is why I cut out four six foot pieces. Here I am connecting the six foot pieces to the 65 inch pieces on the bottom. I once again come over and check to make sure that everything is squared off. And then I measure from side to side to make sure it's exactly six feet. And then I measure from corner to corner to make sure it's square. Once I do that, I proceed to go ahead and mark my two foot centers, marking two feet and then three quarters to each side so I can get an inch and a half for the next studs that will run across each side. I cut out two more 69 inch pieces and ran them across and lined them up with the lines I drew. Once I got a few screws in, I put in two more sets of studs, both at two foot centers. So once I got all the studs laid down, I brought in the plywood. In this project, I used one three quarter inch by four foot by eight foot piece of plywood pressure treated of course and a two foot by four foot press pressure treated of plywood as well what i did was i laid down the plywood i screwed one side down and then screwed another side down and then i just cut off the excess with a skill saw and then from the leftover excess i used a two foot by two foot piece to make up for the two feet missing on the four foot by two foot piece of plywood with all that done it was time to start on the walls
In this project, I bought 12 foot 2x4s because I was going to cut them in half so I could have 6 feet because the roof is going to be 3 feet so that makes the structure a total of 9 feet. Doing it 6 feet saved a little bit of money and made it easier to work with. What I'm doing here is cutting out 16 6 foot pieces and 8 6 foot pieces and 4 65 inch pieces. This is what my walls are going to be made up of. In these next few clips, you'll get to watch me build the walls. So once I got the first wall built, I stood it up and used a scrap piece of wood to help stabilize it and then I went ahead and leveled it and I went ahead and built the other three walls. So what I'm doing here is I'm working on the roof and what I decided to do was a 45 degree angle aka what the pros call a 12 pitch roof. I don't know this for a fact because I'm not a pro but I'm assuming that's what they call it. Anyways I'm cutting these 6 feet long with a 45 degree angle cut on each side. You'll see why here in a minute. So I realized that I didn't take any videos of where these two pieces were going, but here's the video in the time lapse and you can see right there where they're going exactly. Then I went ahead and built the roof gable. Uh, I figured the size of it by just putting a level on it and measuring the distance between the bottom and the top and that's how I got my gable and then the 45 degree cuts were pretty self explanatory. Once I finished the three gables, I went ahead and added some 2x4s for support. So what I'm doing here is I'm stripping four pieces of 2x4 at a 45 degree angle so that they can fit between the three gables. The purpose for these is so that I can attach the closure strips to them and then attach screws from the panels to the actual wood. And here I'm just showing you how those strips are going to fit into the project. So once the entire wooded structure was complete, I added the closure strips, which is that black tape stuff that you see me adding here in this video, and I proceeded to cut out my polycarbonate panels. To attach the polycarbonate panels to the wood, I used metal to wood screws and I think I used an inch. Um, you don't want to use the same red screws because they don't have a seal on them. These screws have a seal on them as you can see from this picture here. So yeah, I went ahead and put the panel all around the greenhouse and then I proceeded to work on the door. Oh and for the ridge cap, I just used one of the polycarbonate panels and folded it in half over the ridge. The 
before I put in the door, I decided to put in the shelves first. The reason I did this was because I didn't want to be enclosed in the humidity of this greenhouse. For the shelves, I measured 30 inches from the floor on the studs so that I could mark where the 2x4 was going to go. Once I finished building up the frames for the shelves, I went ahead and put on the next polycarbonate panel and I got it ready for the door. I did this by cutting off that excess 2x4 on the bottom of the door frame and then I added two stripped pieces of 2x4. Once I framed it for a door, I measured from the bottom to the top to see how big the door was going to have to be and then I measured from side to side and then I headed over to the skill saw, I mean to the table saw to strip another 2x4 in half. And then after that I put the door together, brought it over to the greenhouse, put the hinges on it and put the polycarbonate panel on it. If you enjoyed watching me build this greenhouse, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Maybe even share it with your wife, your grandma, or your ex-wife, or your husband if he likes plants. Although that is pretty rare for men to like plants, unless it's like a drug dealer or something, you know? Jokes aside, if you're new to the channel, I also have some videos of the stuff I've built for my home gym. And I also have some videos of the tiny house that my dad and I built and a bathroom that we remodeled. And apart from the building videos, I also like doing fitness and diet, so if you're interested in any of those things, go ahead and subscribe. I'll go ahead and link some of those videos down in the description below. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and you have a great one.